Today is May 18th, 2016. Three interesting stocks today. Of course, MGT as well as APPY and ORMP. So, of course, the stock everybody is talking about, basically the entire stock market, is MGT. So, this is um, a link to John McAfee. There's a lot of news on this. All kinds of um, alleged paid promotions, all kinds of alleged Twitter pumps. But this thing is up a thousand, or was up a thousand percent in a week. So, at some point, you need to know it's time to take profits. If you ride this up, that's fine, but you need to be scaling out on the way out because what happens, and you see this all the time on stocks that are up this much, it's a frequently a stairway up and an elevator down. And you can see that once this thing broke that, you know, basically faded and then got selling at $5, it was basically straight down to under three. I think, you know, almost what, two sixties. So a 50% haircut in minutes. Uh, there were halts in between. But basically, in just a matter of a few candles, uh, all the way down. Now, again, a lot of traders, and this is something that's more of an advanced technique, but a lot of guys will buy that bounce. And you can see that, I mean, most times, if a stock drops 50%, there's a good chance it's going to grind back. And you see it did grind back. But once that reverses, you got to be extra cautious because now that bounce is kind of faded. And you can see it's kind of headed back. So trade it cautiously. Learn from it, and again, if you are buying these stocks on the way up, perfectly acceptable strategy, but you need to be scaling out because you never know when that 50% or more drop is coming. So then the other interesting stock of the day is APPY, which again, there is an SEC filing here in Stocks of Trade. You can read that. This was, let me go to a two-day chart. Uh, this was up huge. Based on MGT, there is some sort of deal between the two. To be honest, I don't fully understand it. I haven't read it that closely, but if you're going to trade these, you need to be educated in that. And you can see this was up 50% at one point based on that. Uh, ripped up, but now once uh, MGT is starting to fade, this is starting to fade. So it has gone from up 50% pre-market to you see now it's up, you know, nine, one thousandth of a cent. So it's basically ready to go red on the day, which is a strong short sell signal. So uh, interesting again, and make sure if you are going to trade these, you understand the risk and you uh, educate yourself on the potential, you know, what is behind these. And, you know, never always believe the price, not the press releases and the hype on Twitter. So ORMP is the last one. We posted this this morning. Right when I got halted, uh, positive FDA news, but you do need to dig into that. And then the other thing to know, if you see pharmaceuticals in the name, if you see pharmaceuticals in the sector, always check Adam Feuerstein's feed. Um, Adam Feuerstein at, at, on Twitter, check it out. We linked it on Instagram. We linked it on Twitter. Follow him if you're going to trade these, these biotech stocks. So this thing came off the halt. Went up to 12 bucks and then has just been in straight sell mode and is red by 5% today. So, um, and, and Adam called it out, you know, while it was halted, he was calling it, you know, BS meter 11, you know, so, so you, you could have developed a strong short bias. Tough to kind of pick an entry into that rip, but once you see it top out at 12, I mean, you, you could fade this all day. So only three stocks today, but solid opportunities long and short and definitely the three best stocks of the day. So we'll see you tomorrow.